Hello, my name is Sabrina Weiland and I am Product Marketing Manager for Remote I.O. Systems at Pepperl and Fuchs. Today I will show you how to configure the LB Remote I.O. System via DTM and Pactware. For this I prepared a test arrangement. Here you can see an LB Remote I.O. System including a bus coupler, various I.O. modules and a power supply. The DTM software and the remote I.O. system are connected via the service bus with a USB RS485 converter. You can establish the connection via Profibus as well. To configure the system, you will need an FDT frame application, we will use Pactware, the LBFB DTM containing the DTM for the service bus interface and the driver software included with the USB RS485 converter. So now let's start the configuration. For this, please open Pactware. Open and refresh your device catalog first by clicking this symbol. The service bus interface has to be integrated into the project structure before all the other DTMs are integrated. Therefore, click Host PC using the right mouse button and select Add Device. Select Service Bus Interface LBFB Series from the list. After that, the Service Bus Interface appears in your project structure. As the Service Bus communication is established via the COM port of the computer, the Service Bus Interface has to be assigned to the right COM port. To do so, use the right mouse button to click on LBFB Service Bus in the project structure. Select Parameter, Parameterization and Configure COM port. Save your settings and confirm with OK. Connect your LBFB service bus. Select additional functions, scan service bus and click on button Start Scan to determine the correct service bus address. After that, select the bus coupler and confirm with Create Device. The bus coupler is now automatically integrated in your project structure. To ensure that the topology scan works properly, you need to set your device data. Select Parameter, Parameterization, Edit Device Data in the bus coupler. Select the backplane, in our case it's type LB9023. Also select possible backplane extensions and the proper power supply type. Now open tab Profibus 1 and change the default bus address. Save your settings and confirm with OK. Now establish the connection to the bus coupler. To add the I.O. modules of the remote I.O. system to the topology. To do so, click on Additional Functions Topology Scan. The color unplugged lists the I.O. modules as they are actually connected to the backplane. To generate the I.O. modules, click on Create Device. The I.O. modules will be integrated into the project structure with their standard parameter sets. If you want to set individual device parameters, just select the module by double-clicking. The General tab contains parameters that affect the whole I.O. module. There are also tabs for each channel, where you can set channel-specific parameters. For instance, enable or disable the line fault detection. And that's it! Your remote I.O. system is properly configured. In case of any questions, please feel free to contact us. Thanks for watching!